Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this, it's a JPEG of some text. And they wanted it in this shape. And I've already done it a couple of times just playing around with it. But the way I did it is just to draw two circles and kind of get your circles. Don't worry about the cross lines right now. You get your, to your, basically your test one and get it close. Then I just took two lines. Let's just put this one back at zero. And I, I draw everything in the center of the page. So that line is in the center of the page. And all I did was double click on it and get the rotation to the center. And then I just, I had my copy. And the best thing to do would hit P, put it in the center of the page, start. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to grow, grab the text. Start moving up and then hold down the control button. It'll stay in the center of the page. You've got your rotation in the center and just rotate that line. Now, I did the other one at 24 degrees. So we're going to go with 24. Control D and make a duplicate of that line. Click it on it again and let's rotate it the other way. The other 24 degrees, which would 336. Now you've got that shape. So let's grab just the text and get it out of the way. Now get your smart fill tool and I would suggest a light color. Doesn't really matter, but this way you can kind of see what's going on. Then you take your text and I just wrote this out and center justified it. And we need to bring and make our letters a little bit bigger like this is and make them kind of equal. So I'm going to go control K and then break the text apart. I'm going to make this font a hundred. Let's go with about 150. I'm going to make this one, whoop, about 48. See how it's close to the edge. And what I mean by that is it's pretty close to the uh, size. You could maybe go a little bit bigger. Let's go uh, 50. That's a little better. Make this one 50. Because they're about the same. And then this one is a little bit bigger, as you can see. So we're going to go. Can't go 100. Can't go 72. And, and like always, if the number is not there, you can just create a number. Let's go 85. And that's good enough for the time being. I'm not going to do it perfectly. Then go to Arrange, go to Line and Distribute, open up the Line and Distribute Docker, and, and just kind of play around this. You want to dis distribute the space vertically. That's pretty close. We're actually a little bit further apart than we need. So let's do this. Let's just grab them all, kind of squish them together. That wasn't the best choice. Let's take each individual word and start moving it up and then hold down the control key. Move it up and start holding down the control key. Move it up, hold down the control key. Now grab them all and pick this one right here to distribute them equally. Now we need to group these together with control G. Now go to effects and envelope. Your envelope docker will come up. So we need to cursor over. Let's bring this shape in and hit your create a form and you've done it right there. And then click on your word. It must not have worked. Let's do the one we just created. There's our form. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm backwards. I'm sorry. You need to click on your words first and then click on your eyedropper and put it in the form and then hit apply. There you go. And then just take your pick tool and just kind of check it out. But that way you have, it's pretty neat. And you can see we could have made the the words a little bit bigger. This one could be a little less big. This one could be a little bit bigger. 
you kind of want this even line, even though this worked. So you can go back and play with that. And as I've said many times, before you do anything, make a copy of this, control D. So in case you want to get back there, you don't have to do what I just did. So let's just do that. Let's go control K and break everything apart. Let's make this. I need to ungroup because I grouped it together. So let's make this one 52. And we, well, really and truly you can't because then the, the text would be too big there if you want these two texts to be the same size. So you could bring in this in these indexing lines and kind of look at what it's going to look like. Those two are really pretty close. We can make the socialize a little bit bigger. Let's make it 90. That's good. Let's group this together again. And maybe this time I can do it correctly. Control G. Get our shape. Hit the eyedropper tool. I need to click on the shape first. Hit the eyedropper tool. And then hit this shape and then hit apply and then it puts it in that shape so this is a little bit better because the words are actually kind of touching anyway i hope it helped them a little bit and thank you for watching